All right. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining today. It's a very, very, very special day because of, of where we are. I'm extremely excited about the new East County Education Center, as I, as I know we all are. Years of planning and study went into this site, which is also a unique symbol of progress towards our transformational aspirations. In a very real sense, it is taking an equity-focused and data-informed approach to enhancing educational access. We are further situating the college as an anchor institution in the community, and with it are working towards enhancing a college-going culture. The opportunities that will flow from the education here will enable students to discover their passions and unlock their potentials to transform lives, enrich the community, and change the world. Does this sound familiar? Yeah. Transform lives, enrich the community, and change the world. That is, that is our mission, right? And it is clearly, vividly coming to fruition right, as we embrace this place and this space this morning. So before we go any further into our conversation, monologue, state, state address, let's give a round of applause for everybody who had a hand and helping to make the East County Education Center come to fruition. <laughs> thank you. The, the list is too long, so I won't start naming people because I'm sure I will forget someone. So that, thank you to everyone who has made this possible. It is, it is fitting that we are here together experiencing such a historic moment today. It is moments like these endeavors, such as ECEC, that helps us work towards the impact that we seek, the impact that is identified in our transformational aspirations and supported by our strategic plan, the impact that focuses on equitable initiatives at scale for all students, the impact that creates a community where all college employees thrive, the impact that will ensure Montgomery College contributes to social transformation. Impact. That's why we're here. Right? That is our purpose. Right? Today, I'm going to mainly focus on our, our strategic plan and how we have amplified building, connecting with the community, building belonging, enhancing educational and organizational effectiveness, and increasing our impact. As we do this, we will face some critical questions about scale. Right? It's important for us to, to consider. Last year, Last year was a groundbreaking one in more ways than one. We began working and living with our transformational aspirations as our North Star, building the structures that will support access, completion, and post-completion success with care and attention, living into them in our offices, classrooms, counseling areas, right, has been an evolution. It's been a change, an evolution that has come with many questions as well as new expectations and ways of doing things. Right? Simultaneously, in support of our transformational aspirations, we have moved into the first year of our strategic plan with purpose and vigor, investing the time, energy, and intentionality that will build our future institution, our future institution together. This is learning. This is growth. This is working towards impact. I want to take a moment really quickly just to remind us of all the components of our transformational aspirations. First, access. It's about building a college-going culture. Back to a few minutes ago, East County Education Center. Right? Great example of access. And it's taken on new life. It has meant greater, different, and more impactful foot traffic on our campuses and centers and more different intensive outreach to local partners, and critical conversations with Montgomery County Public Schools. Right? I can already see us moving the needle on one of our intended outcomes for this aspiration. Right? One of our bold intended outcomes, right? that every MCPS student by seventh grade will have a meaningful connection with Montgomery our transformational aspiration of completion is about ensuring that all credentials offered at the college lead to experiences of economic, social, and community impact. 
we know why this matters. We're learning more about how it can work. We're expanding opportunities for more experiential learning, internships, apprenticeships, and civic engagement. Right? And as we expand, we have opportunities to ensure that we have the same definitions and expectations for experiential learning, right? for internships, so that we can both optimize and measure our impact. Impact like Z courses and degrees, which are reducing costs and, excuse me, and creating equitable learning opportunities for our diverse continuum of learners. Our third transformational aspiration of post-completion success is about enhancing economic and social mobility. It's also about creating intergenerational mobility, right? a long-term goal. We are doing this increasingly in collaboration with industry and business leaders. These relationships are intensifying, building more intentional entry points and pathways of opportunity in high growth, high demand areas for our students. Our transformational aspirations, they guide our shared beliefs, desires, and journeys. I'm gonna repeat this, because this is our college. Our transformational aspirations guide our shared beliefs, desires, and journeys. They center us around purpose, intention, and yes, impact. The strategic plan, as we all know, helps us create manageable steps towards enhancing access, completion, and post-completion success. As we advance through the plan, we assess where work is progressing successfully and identify where we need energy and innovations. Said another way, we are identifying both technical and adaptive challenges and opportunities. As you have heard me share frequently, we are seeking transformation at scale for all of our students and learning and adaptation will be essential. We are focused on impact. Our strategic plan should propel us to ask some broad, challenging questions as we scale up initiatives that show promise, and we have so many, as we create new initiatives when needed, as we combine initiatives that may be duplicative and, and stop initiatives that are not yielding the results that lead to transformation at scale. We assess along the way formatively, to make needed changes in a timely manner. Simultaneously, we examine outcomes data more meticulously to assess the impact of programs, partnerships, and our connections. Enhancing connections between Montgomery College and the community strengthens our network at the level of organizations, which can help us scale up our efforts. One area of deep and current and future connection is the college's relationship with MCPS and WorkSource Montgomery. A new initiative from this year has been MOCOCAP. Some of you may know that acronym, but some of you may not. So that is short for Montgomery County Career Advising Program. Montgomery County Career Advising Program, MOCOCAP. Right? A collaborative effort focused on training career coaches for every MCPS middle and high school in our county. This represents a level of collaboration and engagement that we have not seen before and speaks to creating a college-going culture in all parts of our county. In progressive ways, the college's commitment to civic engagement also builds connections to the community and all parts of our county. MC Votes democracy building efforts resulted in an impactful achievement voting boxes on all of our campuses. This provides our students, our faculty, our staff, our community members with a safe place to vote. It brings people physically onto our campuses and connects the college with democratic principles. All of it provides exposure to our facilities, our personnel, right, and presents important questions for us how are we engaging each individual in an equitable way while they are with us? Do people leave with an understanding of what Montgomery College can offer them? Our relationships with dozens of nonprofits bring people organically to our college 
by the thousands? How can we scale them up for larger impact that we can measure? In order to equitably engage MCPS students in the numbers that we seek, we will need to pursue both technical and adaptive changes to our efforts. We will scale up some models and even create some new ones. Right? And yes, we will, we will need to stop doing some things. Solutions to scale will have to be college-wide, systemic, and systematic. Students like Aiden Alamagana depend on it. Originally from Ethiopia, Aiden plans to become a gynecologist. She plans to channel her own experience of exclusion to make others feel welcomed. That's the impact that we have. She plans to channel her experience of exclusion to make others feel welcome based on her experience here at Montgomery College. There are many opportunities to review how we are making people feel welcomed. We know that's so important to our community. We are already engaged in careful data gathering of application and the registration pipeline. And we are asking some important questions. Why do people stop enrolling when they've already started? Where in our process do our students and the residents we seek to serve get stuck? Holistic analysis of processes will help drive solutions to questions like these. The good news, and there's so much good news, is that we have a wealth of people, talented people, the people in this room and listening right now and beyond, talented people in places like enrollment management and marketing, counseling, financial aid, academic affairs, our learning places and spaces, public safety and all around our college. So many talented, dedicated people, right? People that will help us do things like drive towards our college-wide goal of a 12% increase in enrollment by the end of FY25. It's a huge, bold goal, right? This is a goal that reaffirms, reaffirms that we all matter. This goal will take all of us. And in that vein, right, speaking of all of us and reaffirming that we all matter, creating a sense of belonging for everyone at the college is integral to student success and faculty and staff impact. It's everyone. Student success and our faculty and staff. Belonging matters. We know that. And we can make decisions every day that keep students here because they find a community. And similarly for our faculty and staff. We can make decisions every day that keep them here because they find a community. This is a responsibility and a commitment that is taken very seriously at our college. I've witnessed it. I've experienced it myself. We host dozens of events that draw thousands from beyond our campuses and centers to celebrate the beauty of diversity, equity, and inclusion in an effort to enhance a sense of belonging. The Latin Asian Fusion Celebration, the first ever. Right? The Salvadoran American Festival, which we've hosted for years. The African American Health Program Community Day have all enabled people to explore and embrace the depth of our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion at Montgomery College. Belonging matters because it helps all of us at the college see ourselves in the impact we create. It helps students find roots and make progress. You can hear this from students like Ashton Josh Kabu, right, who is the first in his family to attend college with a passion for coding and a keen sense of belonging at our college. He benefited. He benefited from faculty and staff who engaged his interests at a high level. He benefited from our faculty and staff who engaged his interests at a high level. Encourage him to plan for transfer to the University of Maryland and from his peers who rooted him in their shared history and identity. Belonging also has a, has a wider scope as well. We know it impacts us individually, but it also has a wider scope. Efforts to ensure that students are supported throughout their journey with credit for prior learning. 
pathways between non-credit and credit and vice versa, and just-in-time credentials. It is essential that planning for post-completion success begins prior to day one at Montgomery. Students who plan to transfer or are seeking guidance on a professional direction, they need personalized support. Right? We know this. Right? What would it take for every student to feel that they have and are able to access all the resources they need to plan successfully for their future? What would that take to not only feel it, but for us to have those resources readily available in an equitable way for all students to be able to successfully plan for their future. What if we followed up on all the career coach data that individuals were sharing? You know, these are systems questions that receive and need both technical and adaptive consideration and action. These questions matter for students like Kareem Suma, who is participating in the Presidential Scholars Program, which works to increase the representation of men of color in high-wage, high-demand careers. Kareem has found community, encouragement, and ambition through the program. This illustrates that our effectiveness matters. When we think about that, our effectiveness. We think about enhancing educational and organizational effectiveness. And it means greater impact, more efficacy, and additional energy for creativity. We all need to ensure our work creates transformation. Efficacy optimizes our time and our energy. It sets us up for deeper impact. Several areas at the college are already assessing their effectiveness and their impact. The Office of Equity and Inclusion is evaluating its impact. We are preparing for a refreshed marketing and branding. And the facilities master plan and data asset management plan are two awesome examples of careful studies of effectiveness that include planning for resources and impact. We all know from our strategic plan process that a great deal of care went into constructing the, mat the metrics for progress. If we bring that same discipline to our work on educational and organizational effectiveness, then we will likely discover places for growth, new solutions, and insights that improve our work. This kind of work, I've heard a lot of people in the room and outside the room talk about it, requires data. Not just data, data literacy, right? Careful definitions of terms and clarity about where data lives. The data asset management team is already leading that effort and is reaching out to experts at the college to ensure that the data we are gathering and analyzing is what is needed to make decisions. Not just about having the data. We have tons of data. Ensuring that the data that we are gathering and analyzing is what we need to make decisions that lead to impact. It is confirming that the data is truly aligned with impact we are trying to make. Program development, class scheduling, recruitment, student support, they're all data that run throughout our semesters and throughout our college. Pulling efforts together with common technology for advising and counseling, plus a streamlined registration process complemented with professional development will propel our effectiveness to new heights. That will create impact. I know we are all excited to see how this improves access and completion for our students, which brings me to our, our last goal. Right? The last goal of our strategic plan, our fourth goal. Right? Increased economic impact for our students and community. That is our, that is our last goal. This speaks to post-completion success and takes time and effort. It grows from academic preparation as well as the social and emotional support that relies on pathways such as counseling and advising, internships, and apprenticeships. It means that all of Montgomery College's degrees and certificates are situated at the nexus of building a stronger workforce a stronger economy, and ultimately a stronger community. We are working to map all of our degrees and certificates to a professional track with economic, social, 
and community impact. Economic, social, and community impact. We can already see the results in many fields like nursing, health sciences, cybersecurity, and information technology. Our partnerships with industry are, are deepening and strengthening. The notion of apprenticeships is, is expanding beyond the traditional trades where it works great, but it's expanding to advanced manufacturing, biotech, and IT. As such, we have the opportunity to think about these experiences differently. Time-based, absolutely, but also competency-based and hybrid. Results, excuse me, our efforts can help to create fantastic impact and results. Results like those for Zoe Shapiro, who grew up right here in Montgomery County in a family of eight and worked as a veterinary tech for 10 years after high school. As a single mother at 30 years of age, she decided to make a change. She is focused on nursing because she knows there is a career path waiting for her. Right? Building career paths also takes partnerships with employers. Economic impact relies on the college knowing what skills and abilities are desirable and building them into our educational experiences. In February, we hosted representatives from nine chambers of commerce to hear what employers need from our students and how we're currently collaborating with those chambers. As we deepen these networks and expand their reach, these talented leaders will be assets in our efforts to create stronger pipelines to high demand, high wage jobs that have economic, societal, and community impact. For students like Steve Nuzama, who took the courageous step of leaving not only his homeland, but his twin brother to get an education. The college's attention to partnerships is already building career paths. Our philanthropy efforts are working to support student financial needs. If we scaled up these efforts, embedded experiential learning, and career advising at scale for all of our students, then how much more economic mobility could we see for our students and the residents who we seek to serve? Could we guarantee equitable access to paid internships, apprenticeships, jobs? The answer rests with us, with our talent, our collaborations, our communal approach to solutions. Our strategic plan is a purposeful guide to our goals. We need to continue learning, growing, and adapting to envision how we can all contribute to impact because we all do contribute to impact. I know our senior vice presidents and college provosts are working tirelessly to create connectivity across the college so we advance our one college efforts and maximize our impact. As we learn, change will occur. That is natural. That is expected. That is what we need. And change will occur throughout the college. There will be organizational changes Organizational change is needed for impact that we need to embrace, right? And I'll give you a great example. Organizational changes, like the awesome new director for the East County Education Center, Dr. Tesfa. <laughs> Organizational changes that we need to thrive, right? As well as other changes that will ensure, for example, that we are forward thinking and pursuing the value of technology like generative AI. Asking questions like, how does society, how do we at Montgomery College leverage emerging technologies in ways that are ethical and equitable? Right. Embracing the needed change so that we can see the impact that we seek. We have a role in advancing our college and ensuring our students and the residents we seek to serve are successful. Not just a role, a huge role. That is our role. Our roles are different across the college, of course, 
Yet we can all strive to increase the value of our contributions. And, and we must because it is our collective contributions that create impact. We must ensure that our shared work meets our aspirations. That our shared work meets our aspirations. So that our efficacy is transformational. So that the mission we espouse truly lives in our students and our community. As I close, I genuinely appreciate everyone for your, your attention and your attendance. Uh, I want to share some personal notes. As I look back on, on this year, I am, I am humbled, I am impressed, and I am absolutely inspired. I am humbled by our college's mission and the scope of our service. Now in my third year at Montgomery College, I continue to learn more and appreciate more about our college's path and our trajectory. We are undoubtedly an institutional anchor in Montgomery County, a valuable workforce asset, and a protector of public good in our region. I am impressed. I am impressed by the tireless work of our faculty and staff. Your agility and passion in serving the diverse needs of our students has revealed to me, and I'm sure others, a selflessness that is abundant. I've watched the promise of student success advance in real time based assets like ingenuity, passion, and persistence. And your contributions, our faculty and staff, to supporting each other, they reveal a passion that's absolutely palpable. I see it when I visit you know, all around the college. Finally, I'm inspired, as I said, so awesomely inspired. For those of you who know me really well, you know where this is going. I'm inspired by our students, as I know we all are. You are our purpose for everything that we do at Montgomery College. The transformational aspirations, as well as our strategic plan, including our mission and our vision, they are shaped by what our community desires and what our students and the residents who we seek to serve deserve. So I could not be more proud of the passion that is present in our institution and the transformation that we seek and the transformation that I'm confident we can accomplish together. Thank you.